okay good day everyone so today um, I'll be showing you how to cut your trench coat as you can see I have my pattern right here so I have my color my lap my uh, river color my back this and my sleeve I have my sleeve here this is my sleeve here so cutting this this is a miniature anyway so you can see I've extended the length so cutting it out I'll first of all separate my back pattern from the front separate my piece so right now I've separated my pattern pieces now you can see I want to show you what to do with your front pattern now my front pattern I'm cutting off my collar so see where you are going to cut this is just your collar yeah this is going to, this part is going to be on fold like that so I'm cutting off the color watch me like this I'll make sure you like that on fold can you see this is my color I put that up aside then I cut off the other pieces like that <laughs> so after I've cut off all this one the next thing to do is you know this is my dad I need to do something about it so I'm going to panel my coat so all I need to do is just extend this line straight down so that I can panel it like that so you label your panel cf1 and cf2 so mind you I already taught you how to fix the inseam pocket so you can do your inseam pocket or you do a patch pocket on your trench coat so now I'm going to separate my front face By cutting off that shoulder that like that like that so I have my pieces now I want to place them on fabric to cut so I've placed my back pattern on my fabric and you can see my back uh, my back pattern is on fold so then I had sewing allowance at the side and at the hem area so here you can see I've placed my front piece that's my front panel which is my set CF1 and CF2 on the basin so I'm going to add unnecessary allowance and cut out. So now I've cut my piece out. Then there's one thing you need to note on your CF1. You see this part which your, your notch color starts from. You need to notch that part. You need to notch that part. And you need to notch this corner as well those are the two 
notches that will help you when you're fixing your color. So I've cut my sleeve pattern as well. And you can see I notch my crown depth and I notch my front pattern. So these notches will help me when I'm fixing my sleeve. So like I said, I said now is the time for me to cut my collar. This is my collar. And I said you should always cut your collar on bias. I said it in collar series. So cutting my collar on bias, you can see my fabric. I'm going to fold my fabric on bias. That's in the triangular way. Like that. So and I place my collar. You know I told you this part is on fold. So all I need to do is just set it. Set it and pin it down. Then add all necessary allowance. That's half inch, um, one cm all round. So after I'm done with my color, the next thing to do is now to use my pattern to cut out my facing. So what I'm going to do now is to tape back my panel, my my CF. CF1 and CF2. So I'm just going to tape this part back. That's where I cut off the dart. That's where I'm going to tape. Then you see what I'm going to do. Because I want to measure my I want to measure my um, facing width for the front. So doing my um, my my jacket facing so you can see i've taped back my shoulder um, panel so i bring my um, back piece and my front piece together align the shoulder so align the shoulder and mark my facing width on the shoulder level so marking my facing width on the shoulder level i have I have this part like this. You can see I marked it on both front piece and back piece. Now I'm good to go. So the next thing is to. So now that I've marked my width, then I need to extend my width straight down. So because you know I closed my shoulder that this place has become wider and I want my facing as well to be wider than my center front piece. So all I need to do is get a piece of paper, use it to cover up this side, add it to your CF1, to your CF1 piece. So you can see I've added extra paper to my CF1, then I do my blending so you mark the width at which you want to extend your your facing so all you need to do is just connect it like that so you can see me connecting mine so after i've connected after i've connected my my length then you cut the excess out like that so you see I have my face in for the front piece then I want to construct my facing for the back. So all you need to do is just get the width. The I have the width, the length. So I'm using my back line. So all I need to do is just blend. Like that. So I have my facing for back then I cut out so this is my facing for front and this is my facing for back so 
So now I'm going to cut them on fabric. So now I'm done cutting my facing. You can see my color. I have two piece. This is my uh, my um, this is my color and this is the facing to my color. So this is the back facing. I've cut. I've cut the front facing. And another thing you should know that all these facings you should iron este on them. So the sewing process for my trench coats is I bring the main fabric with my front panels. So the thing I will first of all do is to sew my front panels together, the pieces, sew them together. Then I attach, I join it with the back on the shoulder. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So after sewing, after sewing my my panels, which is for front, you can see, I'll join my pieces together. That's piece one, and this is piece two. So I have my full front now. Then the next thing to do is to attach it to the back, to the back shoulder. So all I need to do is pin this one shoulder like this then pin this two shoulder like that to the back then I sew with my allowance so after I've joined my shoulder the next thing to do is to join the side so now I have my jacket Sewn front and side. So the next thing to do now is to sew my facing, sew my facing on the shoulder and finish the edges. Sew my facing on the shoulder and finish the raw edges. So after sewing my facing, then I'm going to sew my collar. Okay, so now that I'm done with the facing, I've joined the shoulder together, you can see. So it's now time to sew my collar. Now, don't make a mistake. If you want to sew your collar, this part, this part of your collar is what you are attaching to the neck. And this part, this upper part of the collar is what I'm going to sew. So my seam is going this way, like this, like this from here, then like that. So this remaining part, I will leave it on so just watch me. Well, make sure you must have iron um, stay. You must have iron stay on your collar. Your facings, all your facings too. You must have your stay on it. Both front and your color. Front and back. So, this is the part I'm sewing. This one is what I'm attaching to the neck. So, all I need to do is get the center.
So I'm turning my color to the right side. So make sure you don't push, don't push it too much so that it not get too pointy. So now I've ironed my collar in place. So the next thing to do now is to face is to face my front is to place my collar and use my facing to turn it. So let me you you see what I'm going to do. First of all, get the center of your center back, the main fabric, not it. Then set your color. Set your color. So remember the part that we notched. Notched here. Now set it to my first one. So what I'm going to do next is this part that I've pinned, I will just use like a bust stitch to hold it down on the neck. You just hold it a little bit. So the next thing is to notch this notch, notch it well, don't notch it, don't over notch it, don't let it enter your mouth, just notch it a bit so that you can rotate with the fabric. So I'm notching this one too, the other side, like that, you can see the way I snipe it. So now I want to set the remaining part of my color. this one too like that and then
So if you look at the back, you can see that notch so that the main reason I notch this is for it to to open so that I can rotate it alongside with my color. So after I've done this, then I place my face in on it. So this is my face in. Now I'm going to set it on it, starting from the middle. So I pin all round. And mind you, the same notch you did on the fabric here, you must do the same thing on the face so that the facing tool can will be able to open up. So pinning my facing on the neck to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'll first sew the neck first. So I'm sewing the neck with 1 cm allowance. Gently. So I've sewn my neck, you can see. So all I need to do is trim it and snipe the curve. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to sew these parts of my front. I'll just take it straight down, take it straight down and finish the hem area. So because my facing is shorter to my um, to my jacket, so I'm just going to sew up to some point here and stop. Because there's another method of finishing this part. So I'm going to sew the other side. So as for the M area, all I need to do is, you know, I stopped some inches too. So all I need to do is drag down my my um, my facing. I'll drag it down to align with the M area. Then I stitch. Remember, you must have finished this part though. If it is bias, you want to use to pipe it or you want to fold it, you must have done that. So now I'm done with my facing, the finishing. So I'm going to turn my jacket to the right face. You can see I ended up sewing my facing um, raw edge. Okay. So you can see how perfectly and neatly it's sewn. So push my river. Push my lapel out. Don't over push it, it does not look too pointy. Okay, so I have my trench coat. The next thing to do is to fix the sleeve. So 
place to fix the sleeve. So what do you do to these parts? You can just weave it or use bias to pipe it. Then use your hand stitch to hem the remaining part and iron in place. So right now I have my trench coat ready. I fixed the sleeve. So everything is in place now. This is my color. So the next thing to do is, you know, okay, because my facing is not um, full facing, so I pinned this part, aligning the shoulder, so you can just tack, you can use your machine to tack, tack both sleeve, then you can use your hemming gum to hem this part down, or you can just use, as well use your tack, if you have a label, you can just place your label and use the sewing machine to print it down, to hold it down. So I fix my sleeve now. I want to hire on my row line and my collar everything in place.